talking about fairs now. Do you, when you're out at the fairs, are you doing a, a trailer? Or are you staying on the grounds? Do you get a hotel room? I usually get a hotel room, um, you know, because I my my props pack into a trunk, and I usually find a place at the fairgrounds to leave them. I thought about doing the trailer thing, but there's there's certain things about staying in a hotel that I just have enjoyed. Um, I, I think if I was a multi-person act, like if I was a family act, or if I had um, you know, if there was more people in the act, I think I might think about doing a trailer or figuring out a way to stay on the grounds. But as a single person traveling the fairs, I, I just think the hotels is pretty, pretty easy going. You know, somebody takes care of your room and cleans it every day for you. There's usually breakfast at the hotel. Sometimes there's a hot tub you can go into at the end of the day, which is nice for the you know relaxation after 90 degree weather in the sun for three shows. So, yeah. you know, mostly hotels. Okay. Okay. Uh, any uh, any tips on finding good hotel rooms cheap? <laughs> yes, actually, okay. there, there's a great resource out there. Um, another performer turned me on to it a couple of years ago. It's called Corporate Lodging, um, and this is a great way to get good hotels cheap across the country. Usually, about forty to fifty percent less than the online listed prices. Um, you know, for instance, one fare that I do. Uh, during fair times, they boost the hotel up to 120 bucks a night. The fair was able to get me a special rate of $80 a night. And through this corporate card, um, I paid, I think, $50 per night. And that was including taxes on the hotels. And that was for a Holiday Inn. So, um, you know, it's corporate lodging. It's a check-in card. Uh, what's the website? I think it's checkincard.com, okay. which is uh, in like I-N-N. And uh, people can sign up. It's free. And then the way they make their money is they tack on a service fee for every night that you stay, which still works out to less than going online. And so you just go to the website. You type in where you're going, like the address, and it will pull up affiliated websites within the area. And it's for people who do a lot of business traveling. Okay. Very good. Um, yeah, I've, I've actually I've heard of that, and in fact, I think I have it here somewhere, and I've never used it because yeah. as soon as I pulled it up, it didn't tell me what hotels, you know, I was looking at, and I always like to know where they're going to put me. Now this one does tell you, like oh, when you does. pull it up, you type, when you type it in, it will give you a list of ones that are affiliated, and then you do basically you make a reservation like you normally would. Okay. You call up the hotel and you say, hey, you know, Best Western Holiday Inn, I would like to book a room, and I'm a you know corporate lodging card member and they'll just tell you what the rate is and then you just do it okay. same reservation deal okay excellent I will, I will have to uh you know pull that out dust it off and uh and make use yeah. of that because i've been paying way too much for a hotel <laughs> well same thing as like you know when i come back from this new zealand trip i have a fare and they just told me that the fare rate for the hotel was 70 bucks a night and asked if i wanted to lock into that and i'm getting the same hotel for 41 so Sweet. uh you know you can save quite a bit of money that way that is sweet. That is sweet.